Hello, people of crypto, people of DeFi. Welcome to the channel. Is my mic on? Yep, it's working. Bradham66. I'm your host, Bran, coming at you with another Casper video. Um, and this one, I want to talk about simply, you know, decentralization versus centralization. And it's like insiders and how that is a huge problem in crypto. And the reason probably why crypto will be held back for a while my opinion honestly um right now bitcoin's looking pretty strong on the day 28k will we see 30k soon who knows ethereum also looking pretty strong on the day currently sitting above 1600 dollars right the crypto market is looking good holding strong today caspa is still at that 44 spot and we are at 49 we're almost at we're like right below five cents uh currently but i don't really want to talk about price action here you know i'm just looking at it um you know, I've came to like a few conclusions yesterday, today, maybe the day before. Um, you know, right now, it's like you cannot be betting on companies that are playing both sides. You know, if cause crypto was founded on the basis that this has to be decentralized, this has to be you know this has to be not the wild west necessarily but it has to be complete freedom zero control over money that is what it has to be that is the answer that is the solution to our problems you know no big banks controlling our money no etfs controlling our money no companies that are pretending to be decentralized but are really not and will sell you out to the government super fast controlling our money right it needs to be us controlling our money. we the people control um that is what crypto is about right it's 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 actually about a lot more than just making a return on an investment and it's like you have to understand that like you have to take that basis and how is this applicable to more than one thing how is it applicable more things than just money like i don't know how far you know crypto will go within the next 10 years as far as you know um evolutionary steps to becoming a part of daily lives daily um security daily everything because you know we are moving very fast we are already in a tech technology electronic world everyone has an iphone in but crypto might be what protects and, and individualizes and protects people with their own data protects people with their own privacy protects people with their own everything like as far as what you do on the computer crypto might just be that and crypto also might be the way to be able to see your safe and the way with what ai is going um i wouldn't be surprised if artificial intelligence and crypto come hand to hand in the future and it's not like something that's super complicated it's something that's super easily um accessible to everyone that is just simple that everyone can use to for their own benefit not just to keep themselves you know in the know with what's going on but to keep themselves with you know in the know with what's going on with their own privacy and how it protects them right and i think that's very important and right now in crypto i feel like we have a major problem and it's something that i didn't even realize until recently like you know, I have realized and pondered, you know, on this subject, but not to the extent I have recently. Like, I'm looking at cryptos like Ethereum, it's centralized. BNB, it's centralized. XRP, it's centralized. You know, when I remember, like, one of the first meme coins projects I bought besides Dogecoin, you know, Dogecoin's what got me into crypto, but um, one of the first meme coins I bought was SafeMoon, and I actually used to cover that one on this channel for ever ago like two three years ago um and i remember you know when i was following that project you know my faith in that project i wouldn't even call it faith my belief that that project was going to succeed kept going down and down and down as time went on and i remember you know the founder of that project uh john crony in an ama i remember him calling safe moon a company and that the safe moon token was just a product it's not an investment there's not investors here it's just a product it's just a product just like a t-shirt or a coffee mug just a product 
And you had to think, there were thousands of people listening in when he said that, right? Because he said other things before. But when he said that, it was like a strike to the heart for a lot of people. Because imagine if you have, you know, not a smart thing to do, but imagine if you have like an, a crazy amount of your wealth in a meme coin that that thought was going to be developing something real behind it and then it being called a product, like a t-shirt. Like, that has to be the biggest stab in the back I've ever seen. Um, and, you know, I realized XRP, which was my biggest investment, CASPA is now my biggest investment. Um, XRP, Ripple is not obligated to make you profit on XRP. Th Think about when you think when you look at XRP. Think of it as a board of checkers, but you do not control any of the checkers. It's the same entity that's controlling both sides of the checkers, while they are IP um, having an initial public offering for stock here soon. They are obligated to make Ripple the stock profitable. They are obligated to do that. You know, they're obligated by United States government and the people invest that are investing in it because that is an investment but xrp they will not call that an investment very smart reasons why they won't do that um and you this is where crypto gets dangerous because you know you cannot play both sides in crypto and you can't do it try going in prison and playing both sides with two different gangs try that see how far you get same thing with war try playing both sides see how far you get unless you're selling guns to both good luck right um, but try playing both sides. It is not an easy thing to do, and you will fail playing both sides. You know, you there, you do have to pick a side in life, it, whether you like it or not. You know, you can't just be the, oh, I never pick a side. I'm always in the middle person because there is no progression in that gray area, right? The, it, you have to have opinions. You have to have beliefs. You have to have what makes you, you as a person. You can't just be in the middle all the time you have to pick a side are you going to be you know are you going to invest in centralized cryptos or decentralized cryptos and you can diversify into both nothing wrong with that and there there probably will be that area where it's over here centralized this is where you know the united states government and everything is your social security number is used here to be able like for exchanges as an example to be able to see you know what's going in what's going out sure right that's going to be a thing or maybe it won't be a thing forever you know maybe that won't be a thing very long because you know there are ways to cash out crypto without you know using your social security number which not necessarily legal but you know there are ways to do that um but that is the way i mean i don't even understand property taxes it's it's a scam but um Right now, I'm just looking at things a lot differently. And I think it's very important when you're looking into Caspa, it's more like Bitcoin and also more advanced than Bitcoin in a lot of ways. And it's like, it's the next step to, I wouldn't necessarily say take money to the next level, but take cryptocurrency to the next level. Um, as far as proof of work, where will it end up? I don't know, you know. I don't know where it's going. It's it's very complicated and there's a lot of speculation behind it. That's what this video is. It's speculation. Um, but I would rather buy something that's decentralized ran by an actual behemoth of a global impact community across the globe of people mining and, you know, making the transactions work through decentralization than an entity holding all the pieces record board holding all the you do not or chess either way um now that I, now that i really look at it you know the way caspa was brought up the way caspa was made was fair the way that all these cryptos that are made recently are not fair like solana adena blockstack scale Zello, avalanche i mean look at th th this blue right here is insiders right polka dot these are all insiders. This is not decentralized. I don't care. They can go on top of Mount Everest and scream decentralized all they want, but it really isn't. The foundation of it is cracked from the, be from the beginning, and most of these projects, if not all of them, will go to zero. I do like Solana, though. I do like Solana, even though 
you know, it's surprising to see that 50% is insiders for Solana, you know, but Solana also plans on making a phone and stuff like that. So I can't, I'm not the know all be all I'm not saying that I don't, I don't even want to like think I'm just learning as I go along. And the more I look into this stuff, it's just like, okay, this is just stuff I need to be aware of before I buy anything is like what companies and what VCs are inside these cryptocurrencies that own majority who owns the majority of and is controlling the majority of what you're buying that is something that is very important that you should know and um yeah and if a company has a stock and they also have a cryptocurrency that they work for or work with they're you know they're you gotta think what their motives are their motives are to make profit for the stock not for the currency so if you're investing in XRP for a profit or you're, and you believe in Ripple, then you should just buy the Ripple stock because that is what the actual investment vehicle is for that area, I guess you could say. I just now realized this like recently. I was like, hmm. Especially because, you know, after that, like I said, SafeMoon is a product, not an investment. Like I remember those words. Like Those words stuck with me. Out of everything that dude's ever said out of his mouth, everything, those were the words that stuck, was this is a product not an investment, and I was just thinking like, wow, I wonder how many people, because that, that kind of messed with my head a little bit, because I was just like, wait, that is not what I was told, and it's like, you know, people are starting to wake up in crypto, very slowly, but surely, and I don't know if we're going to be in a very bloody, terrible market these next couple years, or a super green market, I don't know if the bear market has even begun, or if the bull market just started, okay, I don't know, I really don't, you know, it's very hard to know, during a time like this, I mean, if you look at the greed fear index for crypto, I don't know if CoinGecko shows it immediately when you're looking at it. I don't know if that does, but it's very stale right now. It's it's a standstill. Crypto is at a standstill. A lot of people are unsure of where we're going, and I'm one of them. But you know, I want to be able to understand fully understand what I'm buying, and you know, as far as innovation this year, like or these past couple of years. Casper takes the cake as far as innovation and in crypto proof of work, hundred um, percent. That is a network that I feel like will be fully scalable in ways that we can't even really think about or talk about because you got to think with where where Casper is going. I believe in five ten years, everyone that is talking about Casper today will talk about it one hundred percent differently. Than talking about it today, and I feel like the topic discussion of crypto will be one hundred percent different than it. In 20 years than it is now because right now it's a lot of speculation we're not sure where we're going but we do know that we are advancing we do know that this is useful technology in ways that we have not even been able to incorporate in our daily lives yet but this is something that you know like 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 my last thumbnail like Walter White going someone cooked here right like that's just my that's just how I feel right now when I look into the crypto space and I'm looking more into the cryptos that are trying to play both sides. Play both sides with the government and the people. You can't play both sides with the government and the people, okay? That's like the HR office at work saying, we work for you, not the company. No, their job is to make the company money and do whatever the company wants to do with you first than they are to help you with anything. That is what you need to look at. It like, You want to invest in HR or do you want to invest in the people that are actually making the product? Uh, and option two would be, you know, my choice with that. And it's like, I hope that made sense. You know, it's, this is just how it makes sense. I, I'm speaking. It's like, I, I have all these ideas and all these thoughts. And I try and put them together for this video. Hopefully it made sense. Hopefully I'm on the right track. I feel like I'm making a lot of progress base. And B and B, you know, that's one of them that that has me scratching my head here lately. Cause I used to really look up to CZ in ways that you know, like I thought he was, you know, I thought he was doing everything right. But now, when I look at it, when you know stuff hits the fan, you know stuff's not going according to plan. You know, it never does. But after you see, you know, stuff like this, and also, I mean, Vitalik Buterin on May seventh, two wells dumped, nineteen thousand and ninety Ethereum. That was the top, by the way. The tag beater and created the top for Ethereum. Dumped thirty-five point seven million dollars, right? 
and he dumped it on Kraken, a centralized exchange. It's like, you got to understand what's going on. You really do. Like, it's, sometimes it's sketchy. I don't know where we're going. But I do know that, you know, I think crypto's making progress and Caspa being created and being introduced into the crypto world, I think that's major progress. And I think the founder of Caspa is a very grounded, very humble, only in it for the passion of crypto, which is a fresh of breath air because you can just smell somebody's after money immediately. It's very easy. It takes one, you know, because I used to be like that. It takes one to know one, you know. Right now, I just have a passion for it. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking... I'm even, I've been even looking into solidity these past, like, this past 36 hours because I just kind of want to understand more how this works. I want to understand how this will be applicable in ways that this will be applicable, ap applicable into daily life, right? But as always, stay sexy, stay active. Sorry if I made this video a little too long. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.